guys. Hi guys, this is Kiri Tengi from Village Ranger. Welcome to my Facebook channel or my YouTube channel. This is your girl recording live from Botswana. Yeah, the mother city. So welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to the button below. If you have been following me, thank you very much. Welcome today. I'm showing you one of the borders in Botswana. This is called Topen Border Post, as you can see. So I'm just right. The border post is right behind my back. There's the border post, guys. So welcome to Botswana. Many of you might not know where Botswana is. Botswana is a landlocked country in the southern Africa, and this is like how it is. It looks like a desert, but it's not a desert. It's next to Namibia, it's next to Zimbabwe, it's also next to South Africa. Like this border post enters straight into South Africa. So welcome, guys. Welcome to my page. I'm showing you. I am in Botswana because I lost two family members. I lost my grandfather, my Tate Muhulu. May he so rest in peace. We buried him last week on Sunday, and tomorrow we are burying my auntie my mom's sister she also passed away on friday a day after i arrived in Bot in botswana so guys just showing you the border port with your family and if you are in south africa like mainly where i'm based in cape town this is the nearest border city which you can use if you're traveling by road it's beautiful beautiful road as you can see it's not busy yeah there are trucks and everything but it's very nice and convenient for people that are coming from south africa into botswana because from this border port you enter directly into Gaberon, one of the biggest cities in Botswana, guys. So, yeah, this is it. And you can see from my right side, this is the um, nature reserve. Like, this is how Botswana is. This is the major tree that you find um, in Shona. We call it Mubaya Mondoro. But I don't know the name that you can call it in, in Setswana. I don't know what they call it, but in Zimbabwe, we call it Mubaya Mondoro. In English, they call it the thorn bush. And like, you know, many, many deserts, this is what you find. You find thorn bushes. There is no water. There is no much rivers. There is nothing. It's like a desert. But there's a lot of um, things that happen here. There's a lot of um, livestock. They've got donkeys. They've got cows. They've got goats. They've got a lot. And remember, Botswana is rich in diamonds. So if you want nice diamonds, you come to Botswana. If you also want to go north or further up into Francis Town, where I was last weekend, you will see there's Marung. That's very nice. If you love hippo Potamas go to Maung. We also went visited uh, Domboshawa in uh, Masunga on your way next to uh, Plum Tree Border Post that, that, that divides Botswana and Zimbabwe. There is also a beautiful scenery there. But if you are one person that loves nature, that loves game, that loves like outdoors, come to Botswana, guys. It's beautiful, it's nice. I'm enjoying it. It's sun 24 7. But in the morning, it's very, very chill. It's very, very cold. But in, in the evening, also, it's a bit chilly. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's hot, guys. It's a desert. If you wanna bring your swimming costume, come to Botswana, guys. This is my motherland, so it's my opportunity also to tell you, come to Botswana, come see Botswana. It's beautiful. It's lovely. The people are warm. The people are friendly. It's less populated. It has got less than two million people. So, guys, those that wants to invest, buying properties, there is lots of land in Botswana. You can come and invest in Botswana. There is a lot of business opportunities. There's a lot to do in Botswana. So, guys, this is me just saying, guys, welcome to my motherland. This is Kokweni Border Post. I tried by all means to show you some of the areas, but because of why I'm here, the funerals and everything and the work, I'm actually caught up between so many things. But, guys, yeah, this is it. That's all I could tell you today and show you around. Like you can see from the other side, it's all bushy. And from the behind my back, border post, on my right hand, there are some houses. We start the villages all over from this side. And from this side, this is the main road, two-way road traffic and leading into Gaberon. So Gaberon is this side. South Africa is all the way up here. So guys, thank you so much for joining on my channel. Welcome to Tokweni Border Post in Botswana. Nye Gaberon. So this is border post is very nice for people that like to drive from South Africa all the way to Gaberon. This is the easiest. There's also another border from uh, South Africa to Gaberon, which is Ramakwebana if you're coming by road. But if you're coming by air, like I did, USS Resakama Airport or a Francistown International Airport. So there are two airports in Botswana, Sese Resakama International Airport or Francistown International Airport. But the only challenge is the 
um, Frontiston International Airport, because of the tax rates, the taxes, like airport taxes, is quite expensive. But when you use the Ses Retsakama International Airport, it's quite affordable. So, guys, I hope to see you next time when I'm in Botswana. I will be showing you more, but I need to go on the road. We are going back to Frontiston to bury my aunt. So, we are going back to Tutume. It was nice talking to you guys. I'm out. Love you.